Hello and welcome to the Easy Solution Systems tutorial videos. I'm Jesse Brown and today we'll be going through stock take in retail now. Stock take can be done in a few ways. One is to do it manually through printing a report. Another way is to use a device like a PDA or a laptop with a barcode scanner, which can be bought. Here is a PDA with a barcode scanner with Windows 10 OS. With this device, you can enter the quantity directly into a program where you can save the data as stock take data. So we're going to look at doing it the manual way. Firstly, we need to go to stock and then go to the stock take report. Then we can print report for all of the stock. You can choose from part number to part number bin location, stock group, sort order, and the options of show other details and quantity on hand. With show other details, if the item has two lines for the details, it will print both. Otherwise, it will print only one. And then we can show the current quantity on hand on the report, so the staff can check and see to verify. Some people like these options, so we'll take a look at quantity on hand. So here you can see it shows the part number, details and quantity on hand. The staff member can also input the actual amount after they count them. You can print the same report but without the quantity on hand. This way the staff member has to go out and physically check the stock and then enter the actual count. Once the stock has been entered on the stock sheets or the data collection machine, we need to go and zero the stock so that we will start fresh. So we go to stock and choose stock quantity adjustment. Under the number, we keep it as zero and then press enter to take it to the next number up. In details, we put zero stock and we'll post it to 1,200 or 1,200, which is the stock on hand. If we want to enter the full stock count in the part number, we say from zero to ZZZZ press enter twice and the system will bring in all the stock that we have and the quantity on hand. To zero a stock, what we need to do is double click on the counter header. The system will prompt you as to whether you want to zero the stock. If we say yes, it will show us the zero stock, but it will never save it. We have to approve it first. So we can say yes and notice that it has moved all of the counter into negative quantity to make the current stock all at zero. Once we save it, our stock will go from what we have on hand now to zero. We will then need to enter the quantities that we have counted in the stock, either on the sheets or on the data collection machine. If it was done on the data collection screen, we can import it from a file. Next we'll go to details and enter stock take and post to 1200. We'll leave the other fields blank because we have the sheets that have the part number and quantity. Of course, this task is the manual method, but if you do it through the data collection method, it would save you a lot of time just by importing all the data into here. Let's add in an item. Let's say 0005. We'll put in five counted. It'll show the cost and total. Then we can continue doing all of our stock. We can either do it partial or do it all. Once we've done that, the stock will be counted by the staff that was done at the last count. Note that when you're doing the count, you should do it either after sales are done or beforehand in the morning. I hope this video has been helpful and we hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.